Sunrise in Dublin and the damage became clear. City workers started a massive clean-up operation in the small hours. This was unlike anything seen here before. Those involved brought shame on Dublin, brought shame on Ireland and brought shame on their families and themselves. They're filled with hate. They love violence, they love chaos and they love causing pain to others. Three buses were burnt by the rioters. At least 13 shops were looted. 11 guard vehicles were destroyed. Dozens were arrested, numerous police officers were injured, one seriously, in a night of extreme disorder. The scale of the rioting and the destruction it caused is pretty much unprecedented here in Dublin. The police simply lost control of sections of the inner city for hours. So the question today has to be asked, was this a policing failure? There's no failure. This is, uh, regrettably, how protests have moved on and now we have to graduate and have a proportionate response to that. The rioting stemmed from a horrific daytime stabbing attack at a primary school in the city centre. Three children aged five and six and a teacher in her 30s were injured. A five-year-old girl is still critical. The suspect was subdued by passers-by and remains in hospital. Almost immediately, online speculation about his nationality was amplified by right-wing anti-immigration figures the fire had its spark. The influence of the far right in Ireland is on the rise, according to a research body. So really what we've seen, and especially over the past year, is a huge increase in mobilisation coming from far right groups and their ability to kind of root their way into communities across the country and to get people onto the streets, mostly by spreading fear and hatred and often just blatant lies and misinformation. As the clean-up continues, the Irish government has pledged to modernise hate crime legislation within weeks. The police will review its public order tactics. This riot, a lesson in the weaponization of fear into incendiary anger. Stephen Murphy, Sky News, Dublin.